So there's three things I want to talk to you today about, and the first is the about the amount of work that this yo-yo is able to do. Um, so first let's talk about its potential energy, which is mass times gravity times the height that it's at. And since it's several feet above the ground, we can see that as it enters the tube and comes out at the bottom, we could calculate that because it has no kinetic energy right now, just potential energy, that all of that potential energy is going to get transferred to kinetic energy, which is what we call the conservation of energy. But during that time, it also does some work. And we know that work is equal to the mass times the distance that it's going times the cosine of theta. Um, uh, so it's the force times the distance times the cosine of theta. Sorry, not the mass. Anyways, so it actually does work because it has moved and changed its position along the way. And the kinetic and potential energy have helped it to do that. So there's a relationship between kinetic and potential energy, which you'll see right here. Now, momentum, we will see really well in the dominoes because the momentum is calculated by the mass times the velocity. So if you take the mass of one domino and its velocity as it hits the next domino, that momentum is going to be conserved as the dominoes cascade. We call that the conservation of momentum. And within a system, as long as there's no other forces acting on the system, then we can say that momentum is conserved. Now, finally, we want to talk about force, which is mass times acceleration. And we can see that the car here has a mass, and if it starts to move, would have an acceleration. And we would be able to calculate the force with which it hits the ball at the end of our project. And you can see some of the math for momentum we've done up here on the board, as well as for forces. We also know that impulse is the area under the curve on a force time graph and that work is the area under the curve on a force position graph. So these are some ideas that we want to keep in mind as we're looking at the different forces in our system.